This is the Breeders' Cup News Minute presented by Adequan for Monday, October 29th. I'm Scott Jagow in downtown Louisville. I'm just outside the Kentucky International Convention Center. That's the host of the second annual EquestraCon event taking place today and tomorrow. Dozens of vendors inside showing off their wares, whether it be a breeding farm, a technology company, horse care. Then you have speakers throughout the day. I sat in on a couple of panels, really interesting one on visual handicapping. Gave some examples from last year's Breeders' Cup of what to look for in the paddock before the race. There was a, another great panel with some of the contenders of the Breeders' Cup, the trainers. Uh, uh, Tom Amos with Serengeti Empress. You had uh, Buchero's uh, trainer, Tim Glyshaw, as well as Ron Moquette with Mo Whitmore and Chad Summers with Mind Your Biscuits, all discussing their horses. At Churchill Downs today, we got a chance to see a couple of the top European contenders hit the track for the first time. And Abel and Roaring Lion, both trained by John Gosden, both just cleared quarantine and got a chance to jog around a little bit this morning. Uh, the trainer, John Gosden, very high on both of these horses. And Abel, of course, going in the turf and Roaring Lion going in the classic. Another classic contender, Yoshida, put in his final official breeze, 49 and three for four furlongs. Trainer Bill Mott very happy with the way Yoshida is coming into this race. And finally, about the classic, it looks like Seeking the Soul, trained by Dallas Stewart, is not going to go in that race. He's going to go in the dirt mile because you can only enter one race. And if he happened to, he is the one also eligible. He's the next up in the classic. But if he didn't draw in, then he'd be out of luck for both races. So they made the decision to go ahead and go in the dirt mile. All right, that's going to do it for the latest news from downtown Louisville, the Breeders' Cup News Minute, presented by Adequan.